Okay, now this is getting scary. Generative AI for video is getting better and better by the day. So in anticipation of OpenAI Sora and Premiere's generative fill for video feature, I came across a couple of AI video generators that I wanted to test out against each other. I'll put the links below for both these sites, so let me know in the comments what you think. First, I'll use HaleUO AI, or however that's however you say it. So I'm in HaleUO AI, or Minimax, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to create a simple prompt of an apocalyptic scene, and we'll see what it comes back with. Now, this may take a little bit of time, depending on how many people are using it, so be patient. Okay, here's my result. Pretty unbelievable. Look at that parallax. Wow. All right, so now let's use the same prompt using a different AI generator, Kling AI. And it looks like here you could adjust some of the parameters like creativity, camera movement, and if you were a pro member, you could do a little bit more. So I'll hit generate. And we have a really cool dolly shot, which is also really good. I like the first one a little bit better, but this also has a lot of detail in it and I like it a lot. Obviously these are being output in low quality, but it's only a matter of time before these are outputted in 4K high quality. So here's another prompt that I made about a monster sitting in the closet waiting to scare somebody. Here's the Halo UO or Minimax version. Definitely has a feature film kind of animation look to it. And here's the Kling AI version. Looks a little bit more basic 3D like you would see on a kid's cartoon or something. So now we're gonna go back to HaleUO AI and we're gonna try a really detailed prompt. Now let's see the results. Wow, look at that level of detail, high dynamic range, so much detail, love it. Now here's the Kling AI version. A little bit more realistic. They're both very good, different styles. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited to see what comes out next.